Hello. Um, today we present our work investigating large language models and uh, control mechanisms to improve text readability of uh, biomedical abstracts, which is accepted to the main conference of IEEE International Conference of Health Informatics. We really hoped that we could attend in person, however, for the US Embassy in UK, in the London office, they only gave us this appointment that is six months ahead of our application time. So it's very uh, hilarious. Firstly, this is a joint work. We call it Manchester United NLP because it's uh, University of Manchester and Manchester Metropolitan University joint work. And here we have our author's photos, and Matt and uh, Jeremy from the Metropolitan site, and Sam, Nicolo, me and Goran from University of Manchester site. We have our codes and models uploaded to the Hecta UOM Club MU uh, website, so please have a look. We will introduce the task with examples uh, and some figures, then our methodologies followed with automatic evaluation and the human evaluation we carried out, summarized with interesting findings. Firstly, let's see an example of plain language adaptation of biomedical abstract task. In this example, we highlighted different colors, for example, in the first sentence, acute pharyngitis, tonsillitis, coma, which is characterized by inflammation of the posterior pharynxes uh, uh, and uh, tonsils is common disease. This is simplified into sore throat slash tonsillitis, or when the back of the throat or tonsils is inflammated is common. Yellow color, we highlighted the uh, term simplification. And the gray color, we highlighted the sen sentence structure simplification. For example, this clause is removed. And the green color, we highlight the paraphrase or synonyms used in such tasks. This task is originally started from a PLAB 2023 shared task in Tax Analytics Conference 2023. The data was prepared by ATAL 2023. The guidelines include, include split, substitute, and explain. For our methodology of this task, we investigated T5, Sci5, ChatGPT, GPT4, BioGPT, BART with control token mechanisms, with quantitative automatic evaluation and human evaluation with the two best performing system that is evaluated automatically. Firstly, we applied encoder decoder models that including T5 and Sci5. Then we also investigated decoder only GPT models, including GPT 3.5, GPT 4 from OpenAI and the BioGPT model. Furthermore, we investigated control token mechanisms on BART based models. To run the large models with our limited resources, we also used efficient fine tuning LoRa on Flan T5 XL and about GPT large. Regarding GPT models, BioGPT is built upon GPT-3 that specifically trains to understand medical language, terminology, and concepts. Follow the transformer model backbone and it is pre-trained on 15 million PubMed abstract. While one short problem based learning is applied to ChatGPT and GPT 4 model without additional training, 
using Prabhada sites. Deep, uh, BioGPT model is fine tuned and trained and validated in our data site. Regarding ChatGPT prompting, we give an example here. Objectives simplify the provided text by one, rephrasing complex sentences for clarity, two, replacing or define rarely used terms. The guidelines include for sentences that seem complex, rephrase them in simpler terms. If you encounter complex or rare words, replace them with a commonly known synonym or provide a concise definition. Note in the training sample, complex sentences are flagged with rephrase and rare terms with rare. However, these tokens won't appear in testing samples. You need to recognize address such complexities independently. Regarding T5 and Sci5, T5 uses transformer architecture that is proposed in Attention is All You Need 2017. They both are designed for sequence-to-sequence -sequence tasks, including summarization, question answering, classification, and translation. Here, we use the prompt summarize. They use same vocabulary, sentence piece, tokenizer, and loss function. T5 is pre-trained on a common core corpus with 750 gigabytes of clean English data. Sci5 is pre-trained on a common core corpus plus biomedical domain data. But with wiki large and uh, control mechanisms. In addition to the single token masking strategy applied to BART, BART provides various masking strategies, including deletion, spam masking, permutation, and rotation of sentences. BART provides both leftward and rightward context in the encoders. We firstly train BART on the wiki large data sites for five epochs. Then we apply transfer learning on the plop data site for continuous learning. For control token mechanisms, here are four uh, tokens we used. They represent, they represent the syntax complexity, lexical complexity, the inverse similarity of input and output on the latter level, and the length ratio of input and output, respectively. After the fine tuning, we found the optional values for control token mechanisms. Following the a similar process in math, we applied the Navgrad and the valid sites to find the static optimal discrete values for these three parameters. For the length ratio, we applied the control token predictor to maximize the performance with a flexible value. The predictor is also trained on wiki large to predict the potential optimal value for length ratio. Regarding the data setup, this data is extracted from PubMed search results using 75 healthcare related questions that Madeline Plus users asked. It includes 750 biomedical article abstracts manually simplified into 921 adaptations with 7,643 sentence pairs in total. We divided the proper data site into training, validation, and test site, aiming for 8-1-1 ratio. We observed there are only a few 1-0 to zero sentence pairs, that means single sentence to empty one, which might cause a negative effect in training the simplification model, so we removed this. In addition, to better leverage the summary evaluation score, we picked the sentences with multiple references for validation and the testing purpose. In the end, we have the following sentence pairs, uh, sentence numbers according to the source. 5757 for training, 814 for validation, 814 for testing. Regarding automatic evaluation, we have n-gram overlapping metrics, including blue, root, sari. 
and semantic embedding matrix birth score. We attention that sorry score here is a primary evaluation score because it is widely used for text simplification purpose. Birth score is a semantic level embedding score and blue and root is only for reference of lexical overlap. In this table, we see the brief results overview. Here, we emphasize again, SARI is our primary evaluation metric as used in the field. Birth score is semantic similarity and the blue root one, root two, and root L is only for reference, lexic overlap. Here we can see for SARI score, the highest score is achieved by birds large with control mechanisms. And for birth score, it is achieved by T5 base model. Regarding GPT models, we can see that GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 have relatively higher SARI score, but the birth score is far behind T5 base. We draw some learning curves on SARI scores for T5, Sci5, BART models. Here you can see BART models after five epochs have a relatively higher jump of the score because the transfer learning shift from wiki large data site to pub data site. Similarly, we have bar score learning curves, also blue and root scores. Please read our paper for detailed uh, discussion here. Regarding human evaluation, T5 based model has the highest bar score and also relatively higher SARI score. So we choose it as one of the candidates for human evaluation. The other candidate is the fine-tuned BART with control token mechanisms, which has the highest SARI score among all the evaluated models. For human evaluation setup, we randomly sampled 80 sentences from the testing site, split, and evaluated the corresponding outputs of these two models anonymously. In the evaluation form, we randomly assign the order of the two system outputs and put them beside the input sentence so the evaluators do not know which model the sentence is from. Based on the comparison of the input and output sentences, the evaluator need to answer two questions about simplicity and meaning preservation. Each evaluator evaluated the 40 sentence pairs with 50% overlap to make sure that each sentence was evaluated twice by different evaluators such, as, such that we can calculate the agreement levels. Here is an example of the human evaluation questionnaire with original text, simplified sentences. We do not give the name of the model and two questions about meaning preservation and text simplicity. It ranged from uh, minus two to two, from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Regarding the PLAB 2023 official evaluation, here is for reference, it is more granularly set up because we have limited resource available, so we didn't uh, do this very detailed uh, sentence simplicity, term simplicity, term accuracy, frequency, com completeness, faithfulness. But this is for reference purpose that um, other researchers can use. From a human evaluation output, we can see that but with control mechanisms have much higher simplicity uh, output than T5 base. However, T5 base has better meaning preservation than but with control token mechanisms. We also observed that the two uh, agreements metrics we use 
including Cohen's kappa and Krippendorf's alpha, do not always agree with each other. For example, regarding annotator 1 and 3, Cohen, Cohen kappa cites they have better simplicity agreements than meaning preservation. However, Krippendorf's alpha supported the opposite side. There are some interesting findings from our work. For example, how to deal with the judgment of two models when one almost copied the full text from the source while the other did simplification but introduced errors. For example, in this uh, example uh, sentence, a national program of new, uh, neonatal screening for CAH would be justified with reassessments after an agreed period. But with control token mechanisms, did a simplification, but CAH means congenital adrenal hyperplasia instead of COVID-19. So this is error. However, T5 model almost copied the same source sentences. How do we judge these two systems when it is such a situation? Another observation is that abbreviations or acronyms is one of the common issues that's causing the accuracy level. For example, in this sentence, a total of 157 consecutive patients underwent TKA or UKA. Both BART with control tokens and T5 model simply in two underwent knee replacements or knee replacement, either knee replacement or knee replacement surgery, that is kind of hallucination from the model. The model performed the worse on this because they did not understand the difference between TKA, total knee arthroplasty, or UKA, Unicompartmental knee arthroplasty. We also have a detailed discussion in our paper about findings compare these two models with examples. Please read our paper for your interest. In conclusion, our investigation shows that T5 prioritizes meaning preservation while BART tends to favor more substantial simplifications. In the future, we want to try more efficient training methods, also how to improve our human evaluation with better agreement. Thanks very much, and please read our paper and try the models we fine-tuned, see if it helps your work. Thank you again.